Guys, guess what? Summerfest just dropped into Prodigy, and in today's video, I'm giving you guys an overview of what's coming up in Summerfest, okay? So let's get straight to it. And now, if you look down over here, there's the Summerfest icon, so let's just click on that and travel straight over here, okay? I love the music, okay, right? Well, you look like a fresh pair of heels. Nope, I've been here since last year. You seem confused. You definitely must be new. Nope, I've been since... I've been playing since 2016. Summerfest, a festival celebrating all things summer. Okay. We Merlins usually stay in the waters of Shipwreck Shore. You know... But each summer we come out here to host Summerfest. You know, Athena's the merchant in Shipwreck Shore, and um, these kind of reminds me of those Avatar from the movie Avatar. I'm Athena. I run the shop here, full of rare goods you won't find anywhere else. Yep, I know that. That one over there is Koi. Yeah, there Koi just spins the... Summerfest. Yeah. And over there you'll find Mizu and Mist. I suggest... Oh my gosh, hey, look, it's an apple pot. Shoe. Hey, shoo! Sorry about that. Those pesky creatures have been sneaking around and stealing food from the festival. Oof, that would be bad. Don't call me pesky! Say, I've got an idea. Yes? If you can keep those creatures out during the festival, I'll reward you with sand dollars. Ooh, that sounds nice. With any of us for goods and services. Ooh, okay, so what type of armor can I get? Monsters also seem to drop them in battle, so... Now that we're done with the intro, let's see what we'll do. Okay, first of all, let's click on Athena and look at her shop, okay? Now, when the shop opens up, what you guys can see is on the front page, it doesn't look too exciting. It's just normal and rare items. Well, that's not fun at all. But if you head to the next page, what you guys see is, whoa, it's all rare items. One, it has the Dragonox armor, which is only given during the prehistoric tournaments of Prodigy. Yes, you heard me right. Prehistoric. Basically, you had to have 15,000 arena points in order to buy this armor. So this is pretty rare, and the rest of the stuff over here is given from membership boxes. So it's it follows the same pattern over here. It just got one uncommon, and then the rest of them are rare. And over here, we have the Dragonox armor, which is pretty amazing. Okay. Now in the wand shop, what you guys can see is we have a bunch of wands over here which are not easily obtainable or aren't obtainable other than Summerfest. And of course we have the Dragonox wand. And you guys might be wondering, what is it up with Dragonox? Like, what's so special about it? Basically, it used to be in the old arena where your arena points would never drop. If they would never change, you'd only get the same prize season and season, no buddies, but still, it was amazing, okay? So let's head over to buddies, and most of these buddies are only for members, but still, most of these guys are awarded for membership boxes, so if you happen to get yourself membership this month, well, you're going to be getting stuff from the last three membership boxes, which is amazing, because the deals which they have over here are blockbusting. And then if you head over to furniture, looks like there's a rubber ducky, looks like we have a trampoline, some giant gumball machines, and a performance stage, so all of these things are cool. If you want to, um, like, stock up on your house, this is going to be amazing. And now over here, we have water balloons. So what I think is I'm going to open up these water balloons and attempt to drink up the water, okay? But yeah, let's just quickly use our water balloons and have some fun, okay? Well, let's see, who should I attack? Attack! And plus, this game is lagging so much because there's so many people online at once. Attack! No! I missed the moving target! Are you kidding me? Okay, so there's like this one thing which I always try to do and that's to snipe people with moving targets. Now let's look at Koi's wheel, okay? So let's just do that quickly. Okay, let's just spin the wheel of wheel of summer, yes. Well, hello there, stranger! I'm not a stranger, okay? Oh my gosh, I just skipped that. Okay, you know what? Let, I don't care. Let's just spin the wheel and see what we get. Okay, we're spinning the wheel again. Let's see what we'll get. What will we get? It's a wheel of wonder. Okay, I can't make up a song, so yeah, that's the best. <laughs> okay, hopefully sand dollars. Yes! Okay, how many sand dollars is it? Please be 10 sand dollars. 25! Holy guacamole! I just got 25 sand dollars. Let's go check out Mist and Mitsu. So let's just click on Mist first, and she asks, do you want to change your hair? Now, if we open up her shop, what we can see is everything costs 5 sand dollars. Not only that, but some of the colors which are only available during Summerfest to dye your hair also cost 5 sand dollars, which is great because it doesn't cost too much. Now let's see what Mitsu has for us. Okay, 
The best part about Mitsu is you don't have to pay a single stand dollar in order to change your nickname. So I can go from Allen of the Sea to Mer Allen, from Mer Allen to Glub Glub Allen, Fishy Allen, Aquatic Allen, original name, which is Allen Moonwalker. If you guys didn't know, I walk on the moon. Do, 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 do. Okay. So let's just choose Glub Glub Allen quickly and save name. Okay, that's nice. Now that I've showed you everything in the shops, let's go exploring around Lamplight Town and show you what's up. Okay. So first of all, we have Scientist Slime Mare, who looks like she's very happy and ready to party, and everything has a Summerfest theme to it. Okay, so there's a little pool, looks like Scientist Slime Mare is angry. What is up with that face? Are you planning something evil, Scientist Slime Mare? What are you planning? I'm gonna leave before you attack us. Okay, let's just get out of here, it is lagging so much. Okay, so now this is the side over here. Let's, as you guys can tell, all of Lamplight Town is gonna be summer themed. I mean, like, it's the fest of summers. It's summer fest, okay? In the history district, we arrive over here. And as you guys can see, there are two shops over here. Maybe they're open. Let's go click on them. And coming soon. Guys, these shops have been coming soon since 2006, okay? That's since the beginning I've played. These shops have never been open. Prodigy, if you're watching this video, can you please give us a hint on what these shops are or something, please? I've been waiting for like 4 years to see when these shops will open, cause I was always waiting for that. Now what we need to do is we need to find ourselves that apple. Oh look, the dragon's eyes change from purple, blue to green now, so that's pretty nice. It's like an easter egg, the dragon's eyes keep on changing, it's pretty cool if you guys notice it. Last time I saw an apple, it spawned all the way over here, okay? So let's just search around Summerfest and see. Okay guys, so searching around Summerfest did pay off. Looks like I only had to head to Sir Wee's deck, and there you go, it's an Applot. And I think these creatures, most of the time, the only time when they're able to catch these is during Summerfest, so I'd catch them. Do not wait to catch these guys. These are sometimes only available during Summerfest, so let's just catch it. Let's go into Monster Battle. Glub Glub Allen versus... Yanni? Glub Glub Allen versus Mr. Applot. Yes, Mr. Applaus versus Glub Glub Ryan. Okay, let's use Falling Star Smash and do approximately 2,000 to 3,000 damage. So after spending nearly a millennium on answering one question, we've done 3,000 damage, which is over half of the monster's health, so we can now finally catch it. This is gonna be so cool, we can finally catch it, and the upside is... Oh no, I clicked cast spell, I have to answer this question wrong. Yay, I answered my question wrong, so I can finally catch that guy, and he won't die. Okay, so we're heading back. He casts another spell on us, doing 2,000 damage. Holy guacamole, that's one-fourth of my health. Well, now let's just click the rescue pets button, click the yes. Okay, I've answered my question correctly, and we will be rescuing the Applots from the evil clutches of the Puppet Master. And looks like we have done just what we wanted. Mr. Applots is now on our team. Looks like we won. Let's open up the chest and see what we get. Okay, so looks like our Shiver Tusk might level up. Ooh, this is gonna be nice. Okay, is Mr. Shiver Tusk gonna level up? No? Okay, I understand. Okay, five stars, that's not enough. Uh, yeah, it's not enough to level up my Shiver Tusk. So let's just open up this chest, get ourselves our 10 sand dollars, let's click the next button, and immediately, let's head back to Summerfest. I mean, like, I have to go immediately to buy stuff, right? Okay, right, let's click on Athena and cash in these 10 sand dollars, which I just collected, okay? Now guys, the main currency of Summerfest is sand dollars. Now there are two ways to earn sand dollars. You can either earn them from doing monster battles in Lamplight Town once every day, or you can earn them by doing monster battles anywhere else. But there's a chance that they may drop in monster battles anywhere else, so you should still keep on doing that, but it's a slim chance to none, okay? So I've just quickly cashed in my 10 sand dollars, and now let me show you what I've just gotten, okay? So thanks to Summerfest, I've gotten myself the Mystical Member Hat, and Yanni, I've gotten myself the Mystical Member Hat, and the Baby Rex hoodie, yay! So now I'm a baby dinosaur, I'm a baby dinosaur, I can't really think of any more lyrics, so yeah, baby dinosaur. Okay, so Baby Rex outfit, it's so cute, and it's only gifted during Summerfest, okay, so there's the panda suit as well. And yes, Summerfest is pretty cool. It basically gives you the option to get rare armor, which is not available or really hard to find in Prodigy anymore. So guys, I'd recommend getting membership, or if you don't have membership, it's still okay, because you can still get the Dragonox gear. So guys, Summerfest is a total win-win for everyone. According to my calculations, Summerfest is a win-win situation for members and non-members alike. 
Because for non-members, you guys can get cool exclusive stuff, which even members have to work hard for. And if you are a non-member, there's still a way to get membership. And I'm going to be doing some membership giveaways soon, so you might want to keep an eye out for that. And if you missed out on this month of Prodigy, what are you doing with your life? I mean, you just missed some of the best month of Prodigy, in which you can get the rarest armors in Prodigy. So yeah, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, I will be doing more videos on Summerfest, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. And I'll catch you all next time. One Dr. Genius out the house. Bye. Time to decorate my house with rare Summerfest items.